for any mound-shaped symmetric distribution about what percent of observations fall between mu and mu plus 2. So I'm thinking about the distribution that we had and we didn't have anything really telling us that. We had one standard deviation away on both sides but we're talking about here's our mu and here is our mu plus 2 and that's supposed to have a sigma there, plus 2 sigma. So I don't know where the sigmas went. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're, we're, we're wondering what percent of our observations are in this region here. So let's go back to the pictures and see if we can figure this out. Here we're saying, uh, here's the two sigma one, and we have a lot of goofy writing that I put there. But what we're trying to figure out is just, let's see if I can find a good color to show up on the green that we're talking about just this part here, right? All of this green part on the right hand side. So it's going to be half of, because it's symmetric, when I fold it, it's going to be exactly the same on both sides of that mean. And so this part here is going to be 95% divided by two. And this part here is also going to be 95% divided by two. So when I take that 95 divided by 2, I get half, or 47.5% for each half. And so we can do that on this one up here, too. If I move all my crazy writing, then what I know is this half over here is going to be 0.68 divided by 2, which is 34%. Or you can just think of it as 68 divided by 2. That's probably better. And the same thing on the right. So if I'm writing in this one, I need a different color pen again. This would be 34% on the left and on the right. And when we add those two up, we get 68, right? And so same down here, if we're doing 95%, 95% in between negative 2 standard deviations and positive 2 standard deviations, then if you want to go just the mean to one side, it's going to be 47.5%, and it'll be the same thing on the left, just up until that mean marker. Okay, so just half of whatever we are looking at from end to end. If we only want half of it, we take half of it because it is symmetric. So on this one, we know from here all the way down to there is going to be 99.7 divided by 2, or 49.85%. And that is just up to the mean and up to the third standard deviation away. So that region, and then the same thing on the left-hand side, 49.85%. From there to there. So what we were being asked about was this half, which is 47.5%. So let's come back to this page. We're on blue. So this region, 47.5%. So our answer is going to be 47.5% of the observations are between mu and mu plus 2 sigma. That's how you analyze the mound shape based on the empirical rule. And then we're being asked, what's the area under the curve in that region? Well, the area under the curve is the same as the amount of um, the probability, or here we have what percent of the observations. We can convert that into a decimal. So we're talking about three different things, and they all come out to pretty much the same number. And if we want the area under the curve, then we're talking about 0.475 is the area under the curve. It is also the probability that some randomly chosen data point falls into that area between mu and mu plus 2 sigma. Also probability of a data point being between mu and mu plus 2 sigma.
sigma. So that is the area under the curve. That's how it looks, just like a probability. About what percentage of the observations fall between x bar minus 3s and x bar plus 3s? Hmm, that's going to be a little bit easier. Let's go back to our picture. And here we had between x bar minus 3s, that's right here, and x bar plus 3s, that's here. And so it's this entire region, which was 99.7. So we'll say what percentage, so be careful on these, and look for what they're asking. So it's asking for percentage, so we'll say 99.7%, and it is approximate, so we can put that squiggly there. Um, approximately 99.7% of the observations are between x bar plus or minus 3s. And you can write it with the plus or minus instead of writing them out both. 